Back out for day three here. Absolute blast of a trip. Every day is a good day out here in Hope, man. What is up? Welcome back to the channel today, boys and girls. We are back here for our final and third day here out at the Hope Nickel Mine Off-Road Park. We had a couple days of adventure trying to find that uh, mine site, the cave site there. Wasn't working out quite in our favor. Maybe next time we come back for the third time, maybe next summer, we'll find what we're looking for. We can finally get into the mine site there if someone had finished out cutting that trail that we were on yesterday. Today, we're just kind of out playing around, gonna explore some more trails. We're gonna see what we can find. What are some hidden gems they maybe have here at this park that we didn't get to ride the last couple days. So let's go ahead, let's see what we can find and let's get up this hill climb. looks to be here a nice little drop ledge that we can try and just just see what it's like on the bike let's see what it feels like mm, it's not that bad yeah that's new it's a little bit interesting at this park here that we are at. It's like some of the trails are marked, some of them are not, and it's usually there's a reason that they're not marked is because they usually end up with being a dead end kind of trail. But uh, you know, we're here to explore, so we go down kind of every little corridor that we see that you could have a trail that could be something cool down there. So let's go let's check it out and see what we see. I think the trail ends. Oh. Then we found a couple of absolutely sick banger trails here where you could just kind of like open her up and let her just zip, 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 off and away you go through the berms and just left, right, left, right, all over the place. Super fun, having a blast here. A lot of fun trails in here. have trails like this where you guys live or where you guys are riding at because we don't get much of stuff like this we just don't get much flow or anything like this where you just kind of zip along to the woods back home that was fun that's a big bridge See if we can do this dabless. So here we have a ridiculously long hill climb trail and the challenge we set ourselves was can we ride up this entire thing without dabbing our feet anywhere and just having a perfect run up. the fact how much this bike can just lug down and keep pulling along unlike the klx bbr that we had back in the day if you lug that thing down you were done so on the hill it just couldn't couldn't have the torque to pull through the gear but this bike you can lug it down and it just keeps chugging along up the hills and it's fantastic love this bike super fun Unfortunately, there we go. We got our first dab of the thing and uh, that ruins our clean run there.
another section and area of the riding park and we found another one of these super sick flow trails this is just this is just like the best thing ever because you just we just don't get anything like this at home and even we've tried to build things similar to this like back at home it's just the terrain that we have it's just way too tough to try and build through the roots and ruts and all the bedrock and stuff so just gotta appreciate while we can while it's here on these trails because man is it ever fun and we're just having a freaking blast yeah this stuff's the dream this one last second it's a downhill only trail and it's gonna be a good one down into the black diamond matterhorn it's already looking overgrown <clears throat> yep oh spider webs all right let's see what uh what this entails if it's actually a black diamond or whoa Lots of pokies and dead branches and just crap. So I'm trying to implement my technique of not using as much front brake or none at all. I'm trying to do all my braking with the rear. So it just helps you let, lets you keep the ability to be able to steer. Once you start locking up that front brake, it pretty much just wants to true up the bike and just makes it want to go straight and not turn. I see why it's a one way. This is downtown, boys. Whew. Too bad this trail's a downhill only because this one looks like it'd be a wild hill climb. But I understand it probably got just torn to absolute crap. If it was an uphill trail and you got people practicing on it, I can just imagine the holes in it now. If this was an up trail, you'd pretty much have to be able to do it all in one run or you're gonna get stopped and get stuck because this this dirt here is just like Matterhorn, baby! Powdery dust. Holy crap. cool now we've made our way over into a riverbed type trail and this trail nuts and bolts here is a lot of fun and is an intricate trail because you get a lot of like round river rock that's still embedded in the ground from when the river used to like run through here so there's a lot of just like really jarring off-putting weird layout of rocks throughout the trail as you ride through which just adds its own like level of difficulty to it Thank <laughs> you. 
That one. That one. And it looks like someone else tried another. Still, yeah. So oh. here, there is no more on this side now, is there? No. I'm just gonna go get some airflow. Today's video, make sure down below, click that like button, click subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.